Moving on, right, for a refresher, we'll just do our gentle sequence. Starting with our usual warm up. So, toes straight ahead, knees going towards your second toes, sitting bones down, core activated with the ribs towards your spine and up, lengthening through your spine, pulling your shoulders both down, and reaching your crown high to the ceiling. Take a, just a few breaths, drawing in energy and awareness. Exhaling stress and tension, just getting into your yoga frame of reference. And then inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips way out. Hands to your heart, elbows back, keeping your heart open. Inhale, arms to the front, shoulders still down. And then hands behind you, just gently clasp your fingers and press them to the floor. So you lift your heart and stretch your head slightly back, but remember, don't lift your chin too high. And then exhaling, pivot over, bending from the hips and bringing your hands up and your head down. Spread your toes out, bring your hands toward the ceiling. Move your chin, get that neck circling a little bit. Releasing any stress and tension there. Then knees toward your toes slightly and you wind your way up from the bottom of your spine, winding all the way into the back bend. Drop your shoulders, lift your heart, push your head slightly back. Keep those toes spreading, not gripping. And don't forget to keep breathing. And inhaling, come up, release your arms, and just take a moment noticing your spine getting a little bit warmer as it goes forward and backward. And again, arms are reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, hands behind you, just clasp the fingers the opposite way, shifting one position over. Lift your heart into the back bend and stretch, and then exhale, pivot at your hips again into that forward position as deeply as you'd like. Take a few breaths there, just spreading your toes, lifting your hands. And again, on an inhalation, work your way up into that nice upper body back bend. Chest tall, shoulders down. Don't forget to breathe. And then on an inhalation, again, come up right, release your arms, and just notice your body responding as we get ready for our side stretches. So lateral motion, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, pass them, turn and clasp. Bring your arms back by your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down, stretch your head and hands up and lean, no twist over to the side. Push out through your hand and your head and push the opposite foot down, so the one you're leaning away from. Lengthening, breathing, and then inhale back up, switch your hand to the other side, bring your arms back by your ears, shoulders down, stretch up, and lean over the other direction. Remember, don't lean forward. You want to make sure that you're getting those ribs opening as you push the foot down and stretch away from them. And then inhale upright, releasing back into mountain pose. Feeling those sides a little bit more open. And then open your spine, base of the skull, base of the spine, stretching apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes, lengthen your spine, and exhale to twist. Take a breath and pivot over in the twist and relax. And lift your sitting bones. See if your weight is on both feet as evenly as possible. And staying in your twist on an inhalation, come on all the way back up, lifting your heart, pulling your elbows back and your shoulders down. So just come into that upper body, lengthening and breathing. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, pull your shoulders back down, sitting bones down, and stretch the spine apart, and exhale to the opposite side. Take a breath, and as you exhale, pivot over. So just relax, tension out, knitting bones up, arms still by your ears, and relax. 
Inhale, coming up and again, upper body back bend, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders, and just working into that upper body back bend as much as you want. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Let's extend our mountain up with the fingertips reaching toward the ceiling. Sink evenly into your feet. Swan dive forward, pivoting again at the hips, stretch it out, and then drop into ragdoll, just hang. Take a moment there. Go in if you want a little more stretch on your back. And then arms to the front and wind back all the way up. Shoulders back and down a few times, getting that shoulder area released and relaxed. Stretch the spine apart, arms at your sides, just gently following them from one side to the other. Just looking at your hands as they go one side toward the back and then the other. Keep the crown reaching up to the ceiling. Feel the feet just gently sinking. And then coming back to the center, our backstroke and swimming to get those shoulders working a little bit more. So get that range of motion going for you. And then both arms come up, stretch one side. Again, that side stretch, opening the ribs up on the opposite toe. So that side you stretch, the foot stays flat and gives you a good length. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one up. Just get a nice long stretch. And then both feet down, both hands up. Press the palms toward the ceiling with the fingers interlaced. Pivot forward, arms staying by your ears. Push those sitting bones back, pivoting at the hips. Exhale, release into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees. Do that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Take a breath. Exhale, drop back into ragdoll. Knees bending with those ribs. Sitting bones toward the floor and just shoulders rounded slightly forward as you come slowly back up and circle those shoulders. Feel your whole spine more activated and let's work the hips a little bit. So step your feet together, spread your toes, bend your knees toward but not beyond your toes. Put your hands above your knees, but don't press. So no pressure, just a little positioning. And then circle your knees toward, but not beyond your toes, going one direction, feeling the ankles and feet working, as well as the hips and low back, getting a little motion. And then stop, circle the other way with the knees. Find your positioning. And with the knees toward the toes, stop right in the middle. Find that spot out in front of you and lift your heels coming out to the base of your toes. So remember, not the toes themselves, just the ball of the foot area supporting you. See if you can get your balance there. And then roll back and forth onto your heels and toes, massaging the whole bottom of your foot. Bring those ankles, arches, toes, everything working. And then release and step back into hip width mountain pose. Spread the toes, stretch the spine. Clasp your arms behind your lower back just to keep your shoulders down, bend your knees, big circles with the hips. And stop and go the other way. And again, feel the back, feel the legs, feel the whole lower body getting a little bit more motion. And again, back to the center, release your arms, feel your body responding. Our balance practice, spread your toes on your favorite balance foot, but remember, don't grip them. You want the ball of the foot, base of the toe area, and the heel supporting you. Keep the arch lifting, keep those toes spreading as you put them on the floor, but don't grip. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, everything lined up. So remember, a little roll in through the leg so those knees go toward the second toe. Core active, ribs toward your spine and up, lengthen your spine, sink into that rounded foot and bring the other one. Again, don't roll out, keep it coming straight up. 
And then when you get it as high as you want, you can pull it in toward your chest or keep it toward the floor. Just circle your ankle around so we get those ankles nice and mobile. And then flex and point as you put that foot back down. Take what worked, shift it to the other side, improve what you need to. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine, core active, bring that other foot up when you're ready. And again, only as high as it wants to go, and work your ankle. Take a few breaths. Notice how that's working for you today. And again, flex and point to release. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment to feel your body. I'm going to angle the toes slightly out, bend the knees toward but not beyond the toes, and keep your shoulders above your toes. Hands above your knees, again, don't press, just a little positioning. Stretch the sitting bones and crown a leg. Get your spine nice and straight to start. And then sink into the back bend. So pushing your sitting bones back and your chest forward. Look slightly to the front. Keep your shoulders above your toes. And then we're going to pull the ribs back, tuck the sitting bones down and forward, and look between the toes. So nice forward bend, and then inhale into the back bend again, pelvic tilt, getting those city bones way back, and then tucking them way forward as you pull those ribs in and look down as you exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. And then inhale, coming back up, and again into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down one more time. Arms out at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, spreading your fingers. And some nice big circles, getting the shoulders a little bit more motion. Keep stretching the fingers out. And then make smaller circles and notice the difference. And then turn your palms down, circle the other way. So again, start big. Stretch it out, crown high, core supporting your spine. Small circles, and then stop. Fingertips out, the crown high, shoulders down. And then kick your hips above your ankles and push the upper body over. Back to the center, and push it to the other side. And back to the center, turn the palms up, Hands together overhead, a little back bend, looking at your thumbs, lifting your heart. And exhale, hands to your heart, and down to your side, and shake out your shoulders. Take a breath, sink evenly into your feet, up through the crown. Hands to your heart, look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. Again, pull the thumbs behind you slightly as you look, lifting your heart into that back bend. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart. Give it on over and into random. Hands up on your shins, under your knees, halfway up stretch. Give it a good lengthening through your spine. Pull those shoulders back toward your hips. Bend your knees and come to the floor into a child pose. Transition down. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down toward the floor. Take a breath, just relax. And then on an inhalation, sit back up, slide off, and bring your feet out to the front. Press out through your heels, up through the crown, or active for support on your spine. Sitting bones behind you, bring one foot up and onto that other thigh, as high as it wants to go. Let the knee come down toward the floor. Notice if that hip is really tight on that outside of the hip joint. If it is, you can bring this front leg over to the side, but keep the toes and knees up if you do. And just let the knee come down as much or as little as it wants. It doesn't matter if it ever gets near the floor. It's depending on what your hip and body want to do. And after you've been driving in the car for hours and hours, yeah, it makes a difference. And it can be tight. Take a breath. Just relax. 
Just exhale that, let it relax. Tightness means that you need to let it release and it'll stretch a little more. And then bring your knee and foot into your hands or wrap your arms around, pull it in a little bit more and side to side motion for that rotator, rotating one way and the other. Bring it higher or closer if you want that more intense or not, if it's already enough. And release that, but feel the difference. And yeah, we got to balance and do the other one. So foot up to your thigh or knee or wherever, knee coming down. Again, leg out in front, knee and toes up or over slightly to the side, knee and toes still up. Let the leg come down. You can put your hands there for a little weight, but don't press. That makes it tighter because your muscles start to resist. You want them to relax. Just let it happen. Let the knee come down. Notice one side may be tighter than the other. When we get in and out of cars or at our desks or tables or whatever, it does tend to make things imbalanced. So just relax. Whichever side needs more, just give it a little love. And then again, when you're ready, bring that leg up and rotate it or that outside of the hip joint. Bring it a little higher or closer or wrap the arms around, however you want to do on this one. Shoulders still down, core still active, spine still stretching up through the crown. And then exhale and bring that back to the front, staff position. Bring the bottoms of the feet together in toward your body and let those knees come out toward the sides, down toward the floor once more. You can kind of pull the Bottoms of the feet slightly up toward the ceiling. That's supposed to align things a little bit more effectively. And then bring your hands behind right under your shoulders, fingertips, palms down, whatever works for your body. Just a little pressure in the hands or fingers. And notice maybe that inner thigh releases a little bit more and the knees maybe come down a little bit further or not. Just depends on how things are today. Take a breath. Let it relax. And then releasing your hands back to the toes. Bring your knees up and back out into step position. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. Pull those sitting bones slightly behind you. And we'll dive our dolphin because it's a good one. Bring your foot to the inner thigh of the opposite leg, knee up to the side. Bend that other knee and bring the heel close to your hip or not, depending on where it wants to go. It can be further out, just depends on where your body is. This hip will be a little up, that's okay. Stretch because we're going to turn into our twist. So you want the whole hip coming around, facing that first knee you bend. Hands on your leg or the floor, wherever it works for you. Pull the ribs back, tuck your chin, exhale, dive your dolphin down under the water. Forward journey. Face to the front, inhaling, you're coming up to the sun and the sky as you breathe in, looking toward the ceiling, opening your heart. Core activated, rounding forward as you go, exhaling down, and back bending slightly as you inhale that heart high, looking up. And just as much through your range of motion as your breath wants to guide you, breathing and rounding and arching up. And the next time you come to the top, pause, exhale, turn back to the center and release your legs back to the front. Notice that spine a little more activated with that twist energy and motion. And of course, we're gonna balance and dive our dolphin to the other side. Foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, sitting bones behind you, stretch it up. Bring that other heel back close to your body as much as it wants to go. Hips slightly up, stretch that spine apart, and exhale, turn toward your knee. Again, diving under, rounding, pulling the ribs back, tucking the chin slightly, forehead down toward the knee as you exhale. As you inhale, face to the front, lift the heart toward the ceiling, coming up to the sun and the sky. You're the dolphin. Dive under as you exhale. Breathe in as you come up. 
Just following your body, your breath, exhaling and inhaling as you guide your way through that dolphin motion, diving under, exhaling down. And on the next inhalation up, just pause at the top and exhale, turning back to the center and releasing your legs. Take a moment there, breathing, feel your body, lengthen up through the crown. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Activate the core, stretch the spine up, and then slowly let's roll back slightly. Pause, feel that core working. Roll back a little more, maybe it works a little bit harder. Just keep pausing each incremental part of the way down to the floor. Get that lower back, ribs, and shoulder area finally on the mat. Take a moment as you get all the way down and just relax, recline in duration, letting everything sink into that surface beneath you. Bring your hands out to T position, palms up, shoulders down. Sitting bones slightly toward your heel, back pressing down. Bring your right leg straight up toward the ceiling or bend it first and bring it up if that works better for your body. Press the bottom of your foot toward the ceiling as much as you can. We're going to roll all the way over to the left side. Right leg up, left side roll. So come all the way onto the left side, foot to the floor, hands together in front of you. Keep your head on the floor. Remember, don't overwork your neck. Hold your foot with your left hand if you can, or keep the left hand on the right leg. <clears throat> right arm up above your shoulder toward the ceiling. Keep the palm up as you lower that arm behind you toward the floor, coming to a twist. So the more you hold the foot and push it away, the more you get your lower back in the twist. The more you turn your head, your neck is in the twist. So remember, always what's right for your body, for your personal practice, jump over you. And gravity will do the rest of it for you if your arm is still up in the air. That's okay. That's the middle back twist. When your body's ready, the hand will come toward the floor a little more, or maybe all the way. But don't force it. Just let your twist happen as much as it wants. Take another breath. Just exhale into that twist. Let everything release and relax. When you're ready to let go, just leave your, release your leg and roll onto your back. Flex the foot, press it up toward the ceiling, and use your core for support as you slowly lower your leg. As it gets all the way down, just take a breath. Let your body relax. Feel that spine more activated with the twist energy. Shoulders relaxing down. We're going to, of course, balance the body and twist the other way. Sitting bones toward your heel, press the back gently down. Press out through the heel and bring that leg up, either bend it or straight. Make it as straight as you can up toward the ceiling as much as possible with that foot flexed. We're going to roll this time all the way to the right side. So bring your hands together in front of you and the foot all the way down to the floor. Keep your head down, don't work that neck too much. Hold your leg or your foot and press it away. Bring the, what is this, left hand up, palm toward the, fingertips toward the ceiling, palm open. Keep it up toward the ceiling as you look toward that hand behind you, coming into your twist. Take a breath. And again, just deepen your twist with that exhalation, letting the ligaments along your spine all release and relax, allowing the twist, never forcing it. Take a breath. Just deepen a little bit more. Press the foot away and the hand back as much as it wants to go. Remember, if it's in the air, that's okay. Gravity will decide when you're ready for a little bit more as you relax. Deepen and breathe. Just allowing the twist, letting the lower back, middle back, and neck area have as much as your personal practice needs today. Deep breaths, 
just relaxing. And when you're ready to release back, again, let go of your leg or foot, roll onto your back, flex the foot, and again, core activated to support that leg as you slowly lower it down. And when the foot gets to the floor, just release. Bring your hands near your sides, palms up, shoulders down toward the floor, and relax. We're going to do one more thing before our relaxation, just a little inversion. So sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, heels in toward your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. So remember, don't let them spread apart. Keep that little rolling keeping the knees straight. Exhale, slide the sitting bones further toward your heels, press the back down. And then as you inhale, lift your hip bones up, come into just a little back bend. So you're on your shoulders, not your neck, feet supporting you evenly, knees straight up. And just lift those hips a little higher. Notice that your heart is going slightly higher, giving you a little bit more connection into that middle of your skull for our relaxation meditation. So just release your shoulders, come onto the shoulder blades and then the ribs and then the back and drop all the way down. Slide those legs out, turn your hands, palms up and get ready for our final relaxation. Take a deep breath. Exhale, just let everything release. And allow your body to grow heavy. Sink deep into that earth support. And let everything just release. You with the whole body so that your legs and hips, pelvis relax, shoulders and torso just soften and sink. Move your head side to side. Let that neck release. Find that comfortable place. Let your face relax, your jaw soften, everything. Take them into that connection to me. Take a deep, deep breath and exhale, let it go. And just as your body softens and sinks, let that awareness of your body release from your attention. As those thoughts release, other thoughts will come to your mind. Let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath. Floating away without awareness. Body softening and sinking. Mind floating, drifting. And just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Sit deep into that surface beneath you and let your awareness release into that peace within. Feel your body, feel your mind, and just be peace. Keep relaxing as long as you have time and opportunity today. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the mind, to the mind, to your body. As you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. 
as you breathe more fully and stretch more completely when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation. Sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels up toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release your hug and appreciation, head and feet to the floor, just roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever is ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.